Welcome back, future cougars, current bulldogs. Glad to have you with us. Today we're doing a melodic minor scale. You are going to go up to the A harmonic. Use a good bow, fast speed. Have the bow close to the bridge so that you can kind of, I'm gonna call it a cheat, or you probably can call it a life-saving cello hack. You're gonna let that A harmonic speak while you're getting your left hand ready to play the next note, okay? Everything's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and let's try it. Here is line 161. going up to D string. It'll sound like this. Okay. Good. Miss Nelson probably wants you to do the fingering that's in the book, so it's okay for you to go up to D string for that arpeggio. Dominant arpeggio, you're starting in half position. When you get to the second measure, you're actually going to bar your first finger down. You're really doing a double stop because this first finger is barred. Please don't try to hop across the string. Go ahead and get used to that. And you can even let that first knuckle buckle a bit to get that to work. You're also going to end in half position Okay, here's line 162, the dominant arpeggio. into half position to help you out. All right, now we're gonna do line 163. I'm going to pause after the quarter note and reset the bow. It's really important and I think it's a lot easier if you start these eighth notes all down low. Okay, let's try it. Here's the first line. <laughs> track of your lines and spaces as you go up. Normally you'd see notes in measures two and three in tenor clef, but we'll save that for another opportunity to show you tenor clef. All right, uh, you get to the fourth position and it's extended. You got this little minor third from G sharp to B. Notice my hand is not touching the side of the cello. Notice my elbow is straight. I could rest my bow there if I wanted to. I've got nice curves. We're not gonna let them buckle. So we'll keep playing there in the, uh, the tip of your fingers. Right? And I'm always gonna reset after the quarter note. Here is the upper octave. <laughs> Thank you. 
into fingering. Let's go back and let's take a closer look at what is there. You're going to go into the second position there. Okay, let's try this upper octave. <laughs> page D melodic minor is so much easier. I think you'll enjoy that as well. All right, there's A melodic minor. We'll see you next time.